In this short video, we'll take a look at the newly released RISA Revit 2019 link. The new version of the link is compatible with Revit 2019, as well as the recently released RISA 3D version 17 and RISA Floor version 13. In this example, we have a simple three-story composite building that we can transfer to both RISA Floor and RISA 3D. To start, I'm going to go into the Add-ons menu, and we can see here the RISA Revit link in the Add-ons menu. I'm going to go ahead and choose Export to RISA, and when we export, we can see the different options that are available in this version of the link. We can choose the program that we want to exchange with. We can choose whether or not we want to launch the application after export. We can also choose the elements that we want to link with uh, the exchange. We can also choose the way that we want the member design to happen in Risa Floor. In this case, we want to optimize those members. And then we can also choose whether or not we want to exchange only uh, selected items. Now, when we're ready, we can go ahead and choose the program we want to exchange with, in this case, Risa Floor. And we can go ahead and click OK. We can save our Revit model. And then the exchange itself is going to begin. Now during the exchange, all the elements and information, both from materials and member sizes, um, releases are going to get exchanged. And then we'll see a brief report here. So we can see the number of beams, columns, braces, materials, walls, floors, diaphragms, openings that are exchanged. Now if we click OK, Risa Floor in this case will launch. And we can see this model then in here in Risa Floor. So we can see all the different information. We can go ahead and turn on the labels, so the, the member numbers or the shapes. So these are the generic shapes here that we have. So in this case, a generic joist or generic wide flange that yet to have to be optimized in Risa Floor. We can also go ahead and look at the full model. So we can see the full model here with the concrete walls as well as all the steel members. I'm going to go back to one of the floor plans. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on floors here. And we can see that we have some area loads defined for each of these floors. So office area loads on the first two floors and then a roof area load. We can go ahead and also click on our area load definitions to see the load that's defined for both dead load and live load of those floors. Next, we need to go ahead and uh, create load combinations. So if I click on the load combination spreadsheet, We've already utilized the load combinations generator and generated uh, load combinations for both service and strength. Now when we're ready, we can go ahead and solve the model in order to get our design as, as well as our reactions. So I can go ahead and click Solve. When we click Solve, the design routine will give us the optimization of the columns and, and beams in Risa Floor based on the information that we brought over from Revit. Once the design is complete, we can go ahead and evaluate the design that has been chosen for each member. And more importantly, we can send this information back to Revit for final documentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this model and I wanna save the results as well because I want this information to be stored when we do the transfer. So I'll click Save Results. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close out Risa Floor. Now back in Revit, instead of choosing export to Risa, we can choose import from Risa. So if we choose import, we're going to import from a Risa floor. We have our Risa floor model here selected. Again, we can choose the information that's going to be imported, how we're going to choose the import. So we're just going to choose here to update the geometry and the sizes. We can also choose to only import the changed items. In this case, we could choose the libraries that we're going to use. In this case, I'm using the Imperial library. We can also choose to import the beam reactions. Um, which is important to this. And then we can, when we're ready, go ahead and click OK. So again, do I want to save my model? Sure. And then the transfer will begin. Now this will bring in all of that design information. It'll bring in any information that changed. So it'll evaluate to see whether or not certain members, joists, wide flanges, columns, etc. changed. It'll also bring in all that uh, analysis-based information um, for the loading and the, um, the reactions. And then we'll be able to use those in beam annotations on our model. Now that the transfer is complete, we can go ahead and select one of the floors. In this case, we'll choose one of the composite floors. And we can go ahead and navigate on the taskbar to the Annotate tab. And we're going to choose here Beam Annotations. Now, I've already preloaded some of the standard Risa Beam Annotations so that we can see the information exactly as we want to. So I'm going to go ahead and first add um, the labels for 
the start reactions and the end reactions, as well as the standard beam label, so just the beam size. And then at the bottom, I'll go ahead and add the camber and the stud information for composites. So if we go ahead and add all that information in and then click OK, we'll see the new annotations on this particular floor plan. So if we zoom in here, we can go ahead and see exactly those same annotations, exactly the same information that we saw there in the Risa floor model. So we can see the studs, the different uh, reactions, the beam size. If we select a beam, we can scroll down here in the structural analysis tab. This is the information coming from Risa itself. So we have the Risa label, the reactions. If we had any moments, we don't in this case. This shows how easy the process is to start a model in Revit, transfer the information into Risa for design, and then get all the design information and reactions back to Revit for final documentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any more questions, please contact us at support at or visit our website, risa.com.